basically what they are doing is in the japanese market there is something different that is happening which they wanted to highlight you okay the in the japanese market the convention okay the yield convention is very different they are they are, they are showing you in a simple basis they are not taking into account compounding okay they are not taking into account the compounding part so what they are trying to identify okay how if if suppose you are looking at a bond and if see in in the previous example we said okay the ytm of the bond is this because you calculated and if we are in japanese market if somebody asking you what is the yield on this bond so how will you calculate there are two impact to it the first is a coupon and the principal okay can you look at this formula look at this first part this first section is basically coupon divided by principal this is nothing but the income as a percentage okay income as a percentage of principal so any any bond you pick up there are two things that the two incomes that you have the first is a cash flow and second is a price appreciation fairly simple so this part is focusing on the dividend part the income part and the second part is focusing on the price appreciation so what they are trying to identify the impact or the way the price is cal price is calculated price change so if you look at this example so there is a bond which is having a 3% coupon it's a 6 year bond and currently priced at 98 now can you guys see can you guys see if you calculate this what is the return what is the uh, calculation for this 3 divided by 98 give me the answer give me the answer 3 divided by 98 it's around 3 3.06 right so your when you purchase this bond okay when you purchase this bond you got yield from dividend okay which was around 3.06% this is coming from your first part but look at this section see you got the bond at discount of how much discount 2 dollar discount is everybody okay you got 2 dollar discount because you got the bond at 98 so what we are trying to find in the second second section is this look at look at to this properly so when i'm doing 100 minus 98 and divide by 98 can you realize we are i am looking at what percentage discount you are getting or primarily what is the benefit that you are getting in terms of percentage so it's going to be 2 divided by 98 right it's going to be 2 divided by 98 and what i am doing is when i am multiplying it with 6 i am saying this benefit is not for one year this is for 6 year and when i am finding the yield it's an annual yield so i am spreading that benefit for 6 years right that is why i am dividing by 6 so this will also contribute towards your yield and the first part will also contribute both of them are taking you to 3.4 that means the second part which is the uh, discount benefit that you are getting is adding around 0. Point what 3 3.4% something like this it was, it was actually making a big, bigger amount but it was spreading out after, after for 6 years because see you are going to pay now 98 and then after 6 year you are going to get 100 that's the maturity value so that benefit or the growth that you are getting is only going to be for 6 years so we are dividing by 3 and we are getting this answer and adding both of them you are getting the yield of 0 3.4% is everybody okay with this